the book of Romans chapter 1 we read in the name of Jesus Christ Paul a bond servant of Jesus Christ called to be an apostle separated to the gospel of God which he promised before through his prophets in the Holy Scripture concerning his son Jesus Christ our Lord who was born of the seed of David according to the flesh and declared to be the son of God with power according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead through him we have received grace and apostleship for obedience to the faith among all nations for his name among whom you also are the called of Jesus Christ to all who are in Rome beloved of God called to be sent grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ first I thank my God through Jesus Christ for you all that your faith is spoken of throughout the world world for God is my witness whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his son that without ceasing I make mention of you always in my prayers making request if by some means now at last I may find a way in the will of God to come to you for I long to see you that I might impart to you some spiritual gift so that you may be established that is that I may be encouraged together with you by the mutual faith both of you and me now I do not want you to be unaware brethren that I often planned to come to you but was hindered until now that I may have some fruit among you also just as among the other Gentiles I am a debtor both to Greeks and to barbarians both to wise and to unwise so as much as is in me I am ready to preach the gospel to you who are in Rome also for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes for the Jew faced and also for the Greek for in it the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith as it is written the just shall live by faith for the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of man who suppress the truth in unrighteousness because what may be known of God is manifest in them for God has shown it to them for since the creation of the world his invisible attributes are clearly seen being understood by the things that are made even his eternal power and Godhead so that they are without excuse because all thought they knew God they did not glorify him as God nor were thankful but became futile in their thoughts and their foolish heart were darkened professing to be wise 
they became fools and changed the glory of the incorruptible God into an image made like corruptible. Man and bird and four-footed animals and creeping things. Therefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness in the lust of their heart to dishonor their bodies among themselves, who exchanged the truth of God for the lie, and worshipped and served the creature rather than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. For this reason, God gave them up to veil passions, for even their women exchanged the natural use for what is against nature. Likewise, also the man, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust for one another, man with man, committing what is shameful and receiving in themselves the penalty of their error which was due. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a debased mind to do those things which are not fitting, being filled with all unrighteousness, sexual immorality, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, evil-mindedness. They are whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, violent, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedience to parents, undiscerning, untrustworthy, unloving, unforgiving, unmerciful, who knowing the righteous judgment of God, that those who practice such things are deserving of death, not only to the same, but also approve of those who practice them. Thank you, Lord, for your word. May your word help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.